And welcome to another episode of Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lynn Condre. I am the Bench Monster. Welcome to Bench Monster TV. Thank you so much for joining us on this lovely Thursday evening. Sporting my Kolb shirt. So good to have you guys here. We appreciate you guys being willing to hang out with two bozos on your Thursday evening. So thank you for being here. The Kolb shirt with the Canelli cut. That's what I'm wearing. Yeah. Because Jimmy left me a message on my phone. I just listened to it not uh, but five minutes ago. So I went up and grabbed this shirt and thought I'd wear it. Thought it was cool. Um, lot to talk about. Uh, what's going on in your world? Um, nothing too exciting. Um, lifting wise, what's going on? Your your strongman training, your boxing, your overtraining. I did, I did go to strongman training on Saturday. And what so did you do on strongman training? Hop in here and let everybody know. It's important. I um I did the kegs where you toss the keg over the little yoke bar. Um, I did the farmers carry. No videos. I did. I have videos, but I they're not not ready to be shown to the world okay. yet. Um, and then I did the did the I worked on those two events on Saturday, and then I showed up on Sunday, and worked the uh, sandbag to shoulder. Um. Those were hard as hell. I struggled with that the most. I would say it was hard. Um, with a big heavy bean bag or sand. I keep calling it a bean bag. How much did the sandbags sand bag. weigh? Um, one was 120 and that's one was good. 150. For somebody that's I 120. To the 120. Yeah. yeah, almost my body weight, and it was hard from the ground. And then you gotta like roll it up, get it on your shoulder, and show balance and control. So I was getting it up, but it was. I mean, it was not not easy so you're getting it up gotta practice it gotta learn the rhythm and the technique um a little bit more and then um that same day the second event i worked was uh keg carries so carrying a keg back and forth a certain distance hmm sounds like a lot of work it was in the heat of the summer it was and then when i was done i had to go squat and you had a flat tire today we had to change at the gym ruined my day oh shocked yeah we got to the gym and flat how to change it out in 100 degree heat oh which explains why we were struggling yesterday trying yeah to, we were trying to put air in it because we saw the um tire pr pressure sensor gauge was on which that always happens in the summer winter. when it gets really hot or winter when the season changes and it gets either really hot or really cold i tend to have that issue so we just went to the gas station filled it up and it was acting weird. The first one we went to wasn't working. It, it gypped me. I took my two dollars worth of quarters, which pissed me off because I like quarters. So that was a waste of our life. And then we went to the next one. Circle K. And it worked, but it just wasn't acting quite right. Uh, we, like it was. It was a hard chore. And then today, I didn't notice it this morning. I guess I just wasn't looking at my dash because it just gives you like one. It was flat this morning. When you come up, when it when you turn it on, but it doesn't stay on. And so I must not have been watching this morning, but. When we left for the gym today, we noticed, and I was like, that's not good. It should have turned off that's already, scary, huh? that, that could have been a lot worse on the highway. Yeah, I could have blown it. Yeah, um, could have been really bad. But so we got to the gym, and I didn't even notice it. Ryan was like, ah, oh, shit, it's flat. I was like, son of a yeah. bitch. So, Well, no sounds worry. like a lot going on in your life. Uh, other than that, we see uh, Jeff Peanut Butter is back on the shelf. I'm happy. Yeah, I think it's Jeff. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, all this so skippy bullshit for a while, and no Adams anymore here. We, I like the reduced fat like Jif Adam, and then the regular Jif. Yeah, but I grew up on Jif. So, oh. um, I was scrolling through the um, uh, Facebook, and a lot of hype about this WNBA uh, Brittany uh, Griner girl who uh, smuggled, um, knowingly smuggled marijuana cartridges into Russia. And now she wants us to bail her out, like send nuclear bombs over to get her out. Not going to happen, lady. You knowingly did what you did, and you're going to have to, uh, what's the saying? Don't do the crimes, you can't do can't the time. Can't do the time, yeah. So you're going to have to or, kneel. Yeah. And the fact that she, according to what Facebook says, she doesn't stand during the national anthem. and Oh, that... is she one of those? Oh, yeah. I'm glad it happened yeah. to her. Yeah, I'm kind of glad too. Yeah, yeah you... it, bitch. Yeah. And then you want our country to help you out? Uh, no. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd bring that up. That, I, 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 just, I saw the original I read story, it. but I, yeah, and I just like, okay. had no interest in it. Yeah, she wrote Mr. Uh, dipshit in the Pennsylvania Avenue a letter that uh, she wants to be saved and this that and the other but you need to stay Suck and do it, some bitch. hard time and uh you can kneel below the uh, russian flag and 
I wouldn't let him know you're a lesbian either because that doesn't fly over in Russia from what I heard. No, that's, that's not me. That's that country. Not here. Hey, neck progress. How's the neck? Neck progress is going really good. Had a really good max effort workout the other night. Uh, was pretty amped up. Yeah, deloaded uh, uh, on Friday. I didn't do any pressing movements, as we'll see on speed bench. I uh, did all the accessory stuff, though, and uh, jacked up some serious weight. Um, very excited. Serious weight for me. Uh, 915 on a one board. We we're working on triples. So um, just grabbed a shirt out of the truck and uh, went to town and... I was, uh, I had found a groove and uh, I forgot my belt because we went fishing. Don't read the chat box, please. I we went fishing last it, week I and I put my, my uh, belt from the holds down my shirt. I left it here. So I did what I thought what Shauna Mendelson told us when she was on our show about keeping the elbows in like this and all the guys do it. I just um, didn't realize the importance because what I was trying to do was keep that shirt from moving. You know, when you go like this, when I grab the bar, you know, the neckline goes right in my throat. Well, um, I, I tend to have a, a good technique on max effort night. We'll check it out. I did uh, F it up when I, on 1,005. I got a little uh, a little excited and forgot this method and actually did my thing, and this went up in my throat, and we'll see the disaster that that caused. Other than that, very impressed with um, progress so far. Um I want to talk about uh, Rob Forel is um, sending me a, a little present, and I ordered. Um, very excited about that. Um, this is what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah, it's a psychedelic purple, and I'm down with that. No, I'm not getting two, but I'm getting one. And, uh, yeah, I think that looks cool. I like the purple. That's really cool. Yeah, psychedelic purple and chartreuse. I like those words. Nice. But that, that's, a kind of a, that's kind of a jazzy-looking color, huh? Like gonna put some weight it's on the bar cool. and we'll uh get some very feedback cool. um i think we're doing three uh, board press um because we went two weeks uh pretty low on the boards almost touching so we'll probably have to go a little higher up and uh, we'll see how things are feeling uh looking forward to uh um putting some weight on that bar we got to get up to 1200 at least uh in the near future but uh not trying to rush things don't want to get hurt uh, I, I need to do steady progress sorry guys um, I don't want to screw myself up and jump too fast, uh, um, too quickly. Jimmy Kolb, I think, is competing this weekend. We wish him all the luck. I don't know Hell if, yeah, if an it's ass, uh, Jimmy. Kate competing too. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I know Jimmy. Uh, we did the webinar on Sunday, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was three cool. hours of really uh, uh, three hours of um, yeah. So they got twelve of the greatest bench wrestlers on the planet. I think around there, and we had a good time. They answered a lot of questions. Mendelssohn uh, didn't uh, interrupt too many times. He was well behaved. He was pretty well behaved. Yeah, yeah. but uh, no, it nice. went well. He got on my good side. I got the link for it in my email today. I don't know if it's out and about on the net or anything, but uh, definitely when I spoke, I wanted to give um, people's money's worth, and I have a tendency to ramble. But I knew I couldn't uh, own the mic for too long, so I tried to speak very quickly and and bounce over uh, sub subjects and topics and try to put it all together, like um, interpreting the Bible, kind of. So when I speak, that's how you got to do it. It's from Genesis to Revelation. You got to put it all together. Had a lot of fun, okay. though. Yeah, looking forward to doing that again. I think we should yeah, do it again. Cool. I think it should be an annual good. thing. And it went to a good cause, too. We raised uh, 3000 some some odd dollars. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if that's right. But, okay. yeah, it's I'm going, it's going to a um, uh, uh, gifted... Uh, sponsor lifter i don't know how they're doing it but it was awesome that somebody can afford to buy gear maybe some band shirts some squat brief i don't know however they didn't want to use it That's cool. other than that well, well i think it's like to support new lifters like with yeah gym memberships meet dues meet equipment i didn't even think about that yeah like whatever that, the money however maybe spent looking forward going, to helping people out travel to, so they can travel to me it's like whatever they need to like get them they started got some on coin. their journey and yeah, yeah. very good cause. Um, and I just want to do this again because I can't get enough of this. It's tickling me with a feather. I love that color. I hope it stays on there too. I don't mean to keep bouncing up there, but I'm looking for um, friction points and um, I don't think they, we should be ripping any of that knurling off. 
I see uh, uh, the, uh, is a center stripe uh, strip of knurling there, Ashley, in the middle of the purple uh, big lines there. Oh, I didn't think that was knurling. Is that knurling in the middle? Either way, looking forward to... I don't think that... I thought it was smooth. Looking forward to playing with it. I'll tell you that. Okay, let's get into some videos. I can we... tell. I thought it was smooth. Well, we're going to take the camera. We'll find out. We're going to take the camera to the gym, and um, yeah, we're going to film Hell it. Oh, yeah. And we need to definitely do some um, uh, bar gripping... Uh, videos because I, that's a very important um cue on uh you know squeeze the bar and then to break the bar um it was it was uh nate was spotting the board press when i did my 915 and uh, he was yelling those um cues because my guys uh the handoff were not doing that so nate nate yeah. needs to train with nice. us more often because he knows, he knows exactly, exactly what, what i need to hear yeah, oh, yeah. yeah really we're on point that. Hey, let's check out some videos and we'll uh, get this cues. this this uh, show rolling. Nobody else to hear us rumble or ramble our lips anymore. Yeah. Uh, Dimitri, Dimitro sent me a video. Let's check it out. Lai, Lai Vitaneko, Vitaneko. Yeah, another video. He sends me those training videos because I asked for them nice. and I and I get them. Uh, let's see. Doing um, is that four hundred times two in a Titan Super Ram? Nice. let's check this out a little bit here pretty clear video those are some really cool kilo plates i think for bumper plates and a titan ram a band uh bench band i take it looking good a lot of color there i really like the neon the flow looking good good job uh dimitro kicking ass please send me more videos too and I didn't see anything in there that I could um, pick apart, and um, your form looks uh, immaculate. Drew Howard, this might be a long one. Uh, sent me a video here, 225 for 50 reps. Um, pretty impressive stuff here. Um, had a little crowd watching, too. I thought this was kind of cool. Looks like an outdoor, uh, kind of a garage gym setup. And, uh, of course, Drew, uh, 405 uh, for 10 to 15 reps he can do. And we've seen him uh, put up 315 for 20. Strong kid. Going to go a long way in the sport. Still a young man. And uh, stay safe and uh, eat, sleep, train, supplementation, and technique. And align yourself with equal-minded people that share the same passion as you. And put the foot to the pedal and let's get it on. Not sure if Drew's gonna stay in the uh, raw world or at some point after he gets a tremendous raw base built, maybe a 600 raw, he decides to get a bench band or something. Uh, it'd be exciting to see because uh, people with that kind of foundation, uh, strength foundation, you put a, a bench band shirt on top of that, it's um, it's phenomenal. Uh, Paul Offler, exciting video here. Watched it a number of times. I am by myself. I don't have a co-partner anymore. That's the way it goes around here. Uh, Paul Loeffler, 620 to a one board in the new Dark Side Colossus Bench Band. I've looked at this shirt, saw videos, saw pictures, and the way Paul's wearing it is the um, optimum place to wear it. Very excited to see this lift here. Looks like I gotta put up a backing. Excuse me while I do that, and let's check out Paul. He's wearing it down where he needs to wear it. That seems to be a sweet spot I found on my max effort night. And keeping it there requires me to wear a belt, but when I do my shimmy and setup, I do a lot of weird shit that uh, misaligns it. So a lot of, um... well, we're gonna have to play that again. That's awfully a jittery video. What's up with that, Ashley? Try that again. Know, somebody holding it that was shaky? No, when I played it earlier, it, it seems like it's freezing. I don't mm -hmm. know why. Let's play it again. See if it was the internet connection or just the video itself. I hope not, because this is a cool uh, video right here. I have the, uh, looks like it's going to jitter again. But I have the Colossus material. I have a shirt and I have a, a bench band. It is uh, stretchy, but uh, very uh, rigid. Anyway, he pops it up. Awesome. The video is not cooperating with us this evening. I, I am upset. That. 
Sorry, Paul. Good lift, though. I mean, we yeah, get, no, we get it's just, yeah, yeah, just shot it up. Yeah, yeah. We get the hundred more pounds in the tank. Um, but yeah, that material looks. Uh, um, uh, I got to get that shirt out of there and actually the Hunter Orange Colossus shirt and take it in and you know take it in uh, Tuesday night and uh, play with it on some three boards. We'll see. Uh, where are we at now? Randy Robinson sent me a video. He is doing 825 reverse band in a F8 shirt right out of the box. That means it showed up at the doorstep. He ripped it nice. open and it threw it on and right out of the box. Beautiful. Uh, Randy is weighing 235 at 59 years young. And it looks like I may need to do a backing on this too. On Randy's lift here of 825. I like the feet placement based out. I love reverse band press, no matter what anybody says. Excellent elbow placement. Now when the pressing commences, we spread the bar to lock out, activating the third tricep, the medial head. Like that shirt. That is a, doesn't say what ply. God, I, I need a new, a new F8 shirt. I'm about to call Pharrell up again. Uh, Tiny Meeker, I was talking to him late last night on the computer. Just was on here uh, watching some YouTube videos. And uh, Tiny Meeker, no, Facebook. I was kind of looking for some footage for tonight's show. And he happened to message me on there. And uh, I wanted to use this one because this was the best angle. Tiny, you know, Tiny in training, 1,200 every day of the week. It's no big deal. Uh -huh. uh, 1,201 to a one board. Let's check out uh, Tiny Meeker. I don't think we need a backing. 1,201, four-ply Pharrell. I don't have one of these new ones. I think this may be the shirt that allows you to bench like a poly with the elbows tucked. I am interested, if anybody's listening. Very poppy. Tiny's always had a lot of speed and explosive power. Oh, good. Never specifically trains speed. Wrong, it just pushes fast. Yeah, everybody's different. Yeah, I never, I never trained specifically for speed. My first seven, eight years I did this. I just uh, pushed everything like I was, you're making a fucking mess over there. A fucking mess. No, I'm not. They're just wrappers. You're going to clean that up. God. Don't yell at me. Don't yell at me a video. On video. All right? Uh, that's a, I'm hungry. It'll be fine. Just There's just a few wrappers. Crumbs. Where we got ant problems in this no, house, dude? Not in. Outside of. Oh, not in? Did you find any up there? Not in a long time. Yeah. They, in the summertime. Just continue the show. Summertime, they keep, they keep coming mission. in. Now you're spitting on me. Get the fuck off. Oh. Show me some boxing skills, Bertha. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's continue on. Oh, this guy is cool. You know, I had um. Sorry, guys, I'm hungry. This um Nick Walker, man, the guy is just like the biggest guy um I've seen on TV. I'm sure in person he's probably bigger than Cutler. I thought Cutler was good size, and um, Ronnie Coleman, I thought he was pretty good size when I saw him at the uh, Fit Expo years back. But um, bodybuilding's taking a, a turn here, and, and it's just, um, there's gargantuans out there. Wilderbeast, just uh, freaks of nature, Nephilim. Uh, it's weird. Um, so he was just doing some biceps, decided to post this. It's nothing, that's just a lot of beef on a human being. And I, I like to get him on the show, because I want to know, you know, what his daily uh, schedule looks like. Jesus. I'm sure he eats 9 to 10 to 12 meals a day, and those are things I want to go over. And uh, the amount of muscle mass on this individual. Smoke a cigarette in the rain, but that's all right. I was going to say that. <laughs> that's all right. You got to do some things. You know, there's trade-offs. And, and uh, you know, sometimes there's consequences to some of our actions. If you weren't, but really look at, lo if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't no. notice it. But I'm sure those are 20. I'm sure those them. are 24-inch pipes right there. And he's a young man. I don't know his exact age. Know, he's probably he looks like he's 25 or something, man. He's got a... Yeah, but that, that bodybuilding, you know, from where Arnold was with the physique back in the day, it's just morphed into some crazy yeah. um, psycho shit. It's kind of cool. All right. Where are we at next? Andrew H-A-U-S-E. Haas? Pause? Haas? Don't read the chat box. Interact do with what, what I'm want. doing. I'm asking you a question. What do you, what? Andrew H-A-U-S-E. How do you say the last name? Let me see it. H A U S E. Hossie? Hossie? Okay. If you take the H away and put a P there, it's pause. So is it Haas? H A U S E? 
Do a 926 pause, deadlift. Pause, pause, pause. No, no straps. Yeah, pause. a lot of times when you see lifts like this, you know, they're straps. Um, pause it. And that's some intense shit there. I wish I could crank nice. up the uh, volume, but I get copyright strikes. 926. Guy's going to do 1,000 soon. Got the grip strength and power to do it. Dreads, man. Fuck, hell yeah. He doesn't mess around. Nice. Oh, that shook the whole world. That was cool. So Great job, that. Andrew, you animal. Look how high he wears his belt. That's interesting. Well, sometimes when people deadlift, they wear it up I here. Saw, yeah. I don't understand. I, I, I well. Oh, looks like AJ Roberts on the uh, show here again, doing a uh, floor press. 685. And it's good to see uh, AJ back in the game. Do I need a backing? Yeah, I do need a backing. Sorry. Got to kick us out of here so you don't see us. Uh, 685 floor press. That is one rep mex handing off for him. We do this lift uh, quite often with a shirt or a bench band or raw or close grip. Fun. And he, he keeps his butt down, unlike people on my team. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Uh, Larry Wheels. The, he was, uh, was I hope. This one I sent you. Yeah. Is this re recent? Because it's pretty cool. I It was on his Instagram today. Yeah. Larry Wheels, bloody deadlift. It, like it, was on my news feed. it said gushing blood, but no, that's, that's they me. They haven't seen Bloody Sunday. They haven't seen Sunday, Sunday, Bloody Sunday. But this is cool. It's intense. I think I can include audio on this. Let's see if I, I got it cranked up. Yeah. We can't see how much, but it didn't say in the, like. Probably at 750, 800. Yeah. The main focus was the blood. I don't, it's his chest, not his nose. That's the thing. Oh, it's his yeah. nose. Are you sure? Yeah, it's coming out it his said nose. his chest. No. In the video. It, that's where the blood goes. On your There's chest. none around the rest of his face, though. They probably spit it out. See, they close up. Tell me that there's no blood coming out of his nose. It well, then that's, right a, here, that's an injection site, then. In his heart? Sure. Yeah, there's muscle there. All right. Whatever you say, bro, Yeah. What? You're a bloody mess. Shut up. Oh. He's got a little bit on his face. Right here. I, last yeah. time I checked, nose well, bleeds don't I don't come know where the blood's right coming from. Looks like um, in, 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 in inner you. pectoral area. All right. Where is Ashley's videos? You just played it. One of them. No, your, your training videos. Your squat, your deadlift, your bench, your strongman training, your boxing training. Well, I didn't. I didn't have anything that I really like. Felt was, I kind of deloaded a little bit this week because I was pretty overtrained. Okay. So I didn't really feel like. I mean, I could have showed like what I did, but. Let's do some boxing training. I'll video some of that. Bring something else into the into the scope here. I eventually probably will. Well, eventually, I'll probably get some like. Because I have a couple videos of my strongman, like, because I videoed we the, wanna see it. the uh, sandbag because I was struggling with it. So I was trying to, like, see um, what I was doing and see what I, you know, I was trying to do it for technique and learning purposes. And that comes it wasn't up, really why. The sandbag comes completely off the ground and you got to get it up, right? Oh, yeah. It starts on the ground yeah. and you bring it to your shoulder. Uh, I tried that. I tried that once. Not fun. I started with 120. I've got the, we got the 150 and that's what I got to work up to. Well, it's can all over my body weight. I mean, up you take this everywhere you go. So I have video of it. I just don't want to post it. We want to see it, no I matter know, what. Not it is. yet. Like, give me some time to all like right. not look like an idiot. Hey, everybody looks like an idiot their first time so out. I sent Larry. I sent a. I sent Larry Wheels and John Hack this week. Those were my videos. I didn't get John Hack on here. Hey, but if you want to send videos, you want to have them posted on the show, you need to send them to benchmonster at gmail .com. And I will edit them down and I will post them on the show. We want to know how you're doing out there in your neck of the woods, in your gym, and what you are doing. Whether it be bench press, bench press, deadlift, squat, overhead press, special special exercises, on and on. We want to see it. Or if you see anything out there that would be cool for the show, you can send me a link to and I will post it on the show. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. You see somebody out there, uh, I don't know. Depends on social media sites you're on. Facebook and Instagram as far as I go. Twitter, not too much. TikTok, uh, they all hate me on there. So I can't win with those young punks. Dude, people are mean Ruthless. on TikTok. Like, 
I, I half the time, like, when I watch videos, I'll go to the comments just to see, like, how mean people are. What I don't understand, like, though, some of them I, I like... post a bench video, and they shoot me down like I'm just the whor most worst person on earth. Not but, but a 390 pound woman in um, panties dancing. I was gonna. I, I was just gonna bring that up. Like gets, some of the ones that you would expect to get, like that should. Okay, that's mean. I'm gonna say should, but that you would expect to get slaughtered. more comments. Don't. There's this. There is this lady that's like easily four to five hundred pounds, who like most of her videos are just her like modeling clothes and just dancing and like fat jiggling and it's just like repulsive and like 95 percent of her comments are all positive weird there's a few that are like you know telling her that she needs to lose weight but even them on. even those ones aren't like that mean they're just like more concerned yeah. about her health and wanting her to lose weight which isn't you know we live in a nice judgmental society there's but a finger like, to point at everyone i just everyone. don't understand like you know some of the ones like I, i've seen ones that with women deadlifting 500 pounds and like they're getting tons of you know mean negative bad comments and you've got this fat woman like that that doesn't is doing i don't understand but it. dancing around and that's fine that we're not being maybe i need to take my clothes off that's and dance okay. around but like the, why are we to the to the people that are out there working hard doing something and posting it like i don't I don't it's gonna burn brain cells it. when you try to figure it out. All right, let's move into speed bench. I like we kept going through, and I'm just like, oh my god, all of these are you're beautiful. I know. You're gorgeous. You showed me it twice, blah, blah, and blah, I can't blah. believe it. I know. I know. Let's see what we did on speed bench. I know it's I did not bizarre. bench. Are you guys ready for speed bench? Let's check it out. All right. There I am standing around because I know um, previous Tuesday front delts were overtrained. Maybe not my central nervous system, but my ability to uh, press weight was horrible. So I opted to not do any pressing movements. The first two exercises are pressing movements. They're uh, speed bench here, five reps, eight reps. I don't know what we're doing. I'm just handing off. I wanted to move into extensions and uh, focus more on those. What am I doing? Hey, I wasn't supposed to speed bench. Well. God, I just can't stand next to a Forza and not get, get down and use it, man. It's, it's a fucking horrible addiction. Okay, maybe I did one set or two just to get some blood in there. Oh. All I know is it's getting really hot and the gym only gets to like 76. It's like the, the air conditioning system wasn't built uh, strong enough for our oh, our uh, square footage. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's a, uh, Texas bench bar. We will be changing bars, uh, Tuesday evening to a F8 bar. Looking forward to that. Uh, looks like a little decline was on the menu here. One set close, one set wide, and that's 50. Reps. Well, I thought I didn't do any lifting here. I look like a liar now. Mm. I was thinking maybe this was the wrong speed bench video, but I thought I didn't do anything. These days they just blur together these workouts, man. Every every fucking two days we're benching. I can't keep track of all of them. Hines here kicking out some 315. I believe I got 12 reps. Hey, man, I may not be the greatest raw bencher at the moment, but uh, put a shirt on me, man, and I'm getting pretty damn good now. Matter of time. Dan Logman here with 315. 
wide grip. We got the decline set at the correct position. It can go up higher, but then your range of motion is like four inches. This one here is like the sweet spot. Except for the fact that the base of that pad starts out wide and ends up at a popsicle stick at your head. And your shoulder blades are falling off uh, each side. But that's all right. We make do with the tools that we got. This is Morgan here, I believe, and Chris. These guys push each other. It's an awesome sight to see. Rep for rep. Morgan does uh, 15. Chris tries to do 16. That's how it's done. Ashley, were you here on this day? Yeah. Okay, maybe I got a video of you. I don't know. Hopefully. Oh, those elbows are turning out there, but that's fatigue. Technique goes out the window when uh, when you get uh, lambasted like that. Got to remember to squeeze that bar. Chris Logman with 225. And this was, uh, I think he got 14 here. Wow. Yeah, he's taking that. Because he was like, he was like, we were yelling at him. No more. Yeah, more. I was there. See, I was like great on the yeah. corner there. He was like, don't quit. Yeah, it was pretty impressive. That's a lot of Almost 15 reps, reps yeah. Nice work, Chris. He's getting strong. Strong. The best part of their workout is they get to go to Dairy Queen after work. I know. Uh, extensions on the floor. So I think we did these on max effort day, but, uh, this would be a higher volume day here. <sighs> Ashley, do you do these? Oh yeah. I do them Every, more like a full extent. Like full, I, instead of rolling down, I drop straight back and let the bounce okay. come out, pause, and explode back up. But yeah, I do, do these on the floor. I really like this little aluminum uh, bar that we have here. It's I like, do it with a regular bar, though. Regular bar, okay. It's like it's like a. What, is that a lighter one? Yeah, it's like okay. fifteen pounds, but it's um. Oh, so it maybe feels, I do close. I was gonna say it's got good knurling on it for a little whatever bar you want to call that. A girl bar. Maybe it's a girl bar. Is that okay to say? Three quarters on each side. This one's pretty heavy. This was last uh, Friday, right? I believe so. I think so. I'm having like deja vu. Like... It's hard to keep track of the days sometimes. But Always wearing those cuffs right above the uh, elbow there, keeping that part of the arm compressed there. Mm -hmm. I don't have any elbow problems anymore since I wear those oh, cuffs. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Once in a while, I get them flared up, but these little daddies here, and it seems like the more you sweat in them and then you dry them with high heat and stuff, yeah, they maintain their uh, tightness. All right, football bar doubled minis. And I think we are pausing. It's easy to go down and up, uh, use that momentum on the eccentric phase, but when you go up, come down and, and pause and try to hold that stretch reflex just a tad and extend up, it's uh, I try to make things harder, not funner. I don't want them to like me, hmm. especially their triceps. If their triceps could talk, they would be telling me I am a really Sounds bad like person. It. Yeah, a lot of bad words. But trade off once again, strength, explosive power, bigger bench numbers. I think that's what we're after here on this day right. and every day. Four sets minimum. Dan kept telling me two sets done. No. 
Four to six. Volume's the key. Lots of volume. It's not fun. I know this. Been doing it forever. Even I don't like it. Hmm. Um, quarter on there and 75 pounds of band tension. Try to pause. And no, it's not sitting on my forehead. I'm holding it as, as low as I can get it right between the eyes there and extending upwards. Heinz is saying squeeze the bar. That's important here. And the dying quail starts to come into effect. Yeah, I was like, I can't get any more. And my face is red. You know, sitting at home on your computer, you're like, that isn't a lot of weight. Okay, get yourself a fresh pair of Elite FTS uh, mini bands. Double them to a dumbbell and try them out. Um, did we do these on Friday? Or was it? I'm trying to remember. I don't remember. Well, I'm having like yeah, deja vu. Like I like we've seen this before. Did I? Did I? Is this something I we did last that. week? Like the same yeah. video? If we did, then I really dropped Friday. the ball. Well, I can't remember. Friday. It is Friday. Yeah, but I can't remember what we did. It's written on the dry erase board in there, but. I don't know if I have any of that. And you, oh, here you. Did you do this on Friday? Yes. Okay. I'm not having any, that's a nice belt. I hate that bar. I like the prototype. You're really good with the actual. That's too much deficit in that bar. There's a lot. Yeah, it's a long push, isn't it? It is. I already have a really long bench stroke. If you were wearing a dress, that wouldn't be the way to sit. Okay. <laughs> What? Nothing, no. Uh, and I told you you're on TV and you didn't realize it until you sat up. No, I didn't know. No. I didn't know. I really. I mean, I kind of know that I any time I could be in the background and stuff. Yeah. No, I didn't realize. Like, I didn't think I did anything that day. And really, I'm going to say I didn't because even though it looks like I benched a little bit, I wasn't supposed to, but I can't. It's hard to say no and not do anything. Yeah. Um, let's move into max yeah, effort. It's, um, it's I won't, the, the videos go pretty quick. So, um, real, we'll fast forward real quick to the nine fifteen. The, the goal of the night was to do triples on one board. I came in with the idea, maybe 700, 800, you know, I, I try to not, um, open your eyes while I'm talking, please. I didn't think I had, yeah, um, a little bit, a little bit more, uh, pepper in, in me than I did. But, um, uh, like I said, uh, I didn't have my belt, so I had to do this method to keep that uh, chest panel anchored and the shirt close to my body. And then when I got under the bar, I kind of did this, this. Um, but on 1,005, I didn't do that. I thought I did like this. And the minute I come back, I reached and I reached, and there goes the neckline. Where's it go? In the throat. And I got screwed. But, hey, um, the, the 915 I thought was impressive because of the bar speed. And no, it's not 1320, but I'm working on it. Let's check out Max Effort. Welcome back, everyone. I guess I should get there in two days. All right. Dan with a 325. A little bit of raw warm ups here. Um, 385 or 75, something like that for me. Coming back. It, just, it moves quick. 605, Bumblebee here, two board. I brought a shirt. Uh, triples was the game, so we're... I wanted to make jumps, but I instead I didn't do that. I went up 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I was going to do 200-pound jumps. Hines here with 605, and he's doing a triple. I he sticks to two board when the rest of us did one board. I don't understand. Dan Logman here, 605. And I believe we're doing, I think he touches here. He wanted to do some touching. Yeah, this is fine. Always testing ourselves. Good reps there. Looks like I got the Viper 2 on, and that's you holding the bar with uh, 715, one board. Oh, yeah. That's me. There I am. Just finding my groove there. 
It's feeling good. I'm well rested. Don't have a belt, but I'm utilizing a technique Shauna Mendelson spoke of while she was on the show not too long ago. Hines was 715. Once again, two board. Gotta keep the ass down, though. Oh, well, that was a misgroove. That happens. Dan Logman here, 715. That would be a one board here. We were doing triples was the plan. Good line. Two. That's all right. Um, 805. This is where I thought I would uh, max out at. I underestimate myself, and I do it on purpose. But this felt really good. I was like, okay, that felt okay. Logman, 805, two board. No, Hines. One. Two. Not a lot of speed, but he only got three hours of sleep, he told me the night before, so we'll give him that. Sinuses were effing him. Yeah. Uh, holding the shirt in the in the position there and keeping the neckline down. As you see, I don't do my normal dig gig right there. And I'm on a one board. I was impressed with my bar speed here. This this shocked me. But when you do things right, there is a trade-off. Then it got comfortable. I was like, okay, I know where to go now. And then I was like hammering them out. Uh looks like Heinz got the uh dead pull out on eight ninety-five here. One, two, head back, chest up when that bar comes down. Three, kind of a grinder. Did the best he could. Jose here with 805, 825, something like that. All that little change on there, it's hard to keep track of what that is. Strong kid here, going a long way in a short time. So much effed up the setup here neck line was in my throat and i knew right when i came down it was like no nope. it felt like they put 300 pounds on there but they really put like 100 and i was like then i was out of gas i just admit uh move over to floor press here close grip i'm not extremely strong on floor press but uh I'll do the best I can with what with what I can do. I believe five sets of five was the mix here. I'm coming back day by day. Hines here with 275. Uh, that's not my bar, it's just gym bar. Like these rogue uh monolift handout thingy boppers here they're kind of cool seen them used on online before and i kind of like them 315 doing the best i can folks and kind of peters out a little bit well i just what do you do if you can't do it i just rack it and i'll get another set Kind of let his wrist roll back there. I didn't see that. Axle bar, we got the biggest kettlebells that we could find. And those were 65 pounds a piece right there. Thought this might be fun. Kind of hard, actually. That bar's uh, probably 15 pounds, and then those kettlebells. It's like the longer you hold it at the top, the more dancing it starts to do. So you better start the descent, because it just gets worse. Oh, boy. My money don't fold, it jiggles. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, that would have been a great song. No yeah, a great copyright strike. 
Oh, you should have done that the song that that the remix that that guy does. I can't do any song it's like that. Like, but or... it's not a copyright. It's like just a remix that that guy does. It's not. I can't. I'm sure it's not like. Well, okay, if you're sure about it. Well. So everybody did these here. We I think we added oh, some ten pound yeah. plates too, but everybody had to get uh, comfortable here with these uh these balls of steel. Dribble, dribble, to show. This was fun. Never done this amount of kettlebell weight before, so this was kind of like uncharted territory here. Thought we'd try it out. A lot of uh, muscular contractions happening there. Uh, here we are with another 10 on there. So, and you got the fat grip of the bar. It was, uh, it was tough. But that doesn't kill us, makes us stronger. I've done this enough times to where I can pretty much control that uh, shimmy. Whoa! Tell me we did more. No, we didn't do any that shoulder work. Did. No, we went over and did uh, push downs with a band on it. And that was it. And I believe this Tuesday we are doing three board. I know I'm going to come in and do three board. Um, I don't know. I, I either come in and, de and kind of deload a little bit, save it. Or come in and spend it. I haven't decided. And I usually make it up the night I'm in there. I probably will feel like shit warming up. Raw. But I'm going to shirt up and uh, bring my belt and anchor that neckline down. And and um, yeah, I'm on to something here. So I want to keep uh, shirting up and uh, doing what I'm doing. What's going on in the chat box? You've been reading it the whole show. So Should I have it memorized? All right. Over to the chat box. I've had some great videos tonight. Very fun to watch. Um, and now we're on to the chat box, which looks like it starts off with one rep max. Hey guys, how how's y'all's week? It's been good. Good to see you, one rep. Super happy to see you here in the chat box. Really glad you could make it. Um, been a pretty okay week how's your week been hopefully you've had a good week and everything's been going good um roger brome hi one rep hey roger glad you're here too glad you're here roger got got a lot of our regulars i love it love the the dedication and the loyalty these guys are here week uh week in week out love to see you guys appreciate you paul loffler too we got yeah that was uh, yeah i was just gonna say that paul loffler also another one of our bench monster tv fam who's here every week love it hi guys how's it going hey paul doing okay how you doing i really like the way that shirt looks on you i'm very yeah, excited to see it video. i i want to get one myself i just need to mow some more lawns <laughs> and i'll have the fundage to get it they're spendy yeah. they're not cheap yeah. I thought fucking uh Inzer. Benzer, yeah, Inzer is worth. Yeah, in Inzer. But his shirts were a lot of three. Oh, I know. This is a whole other yeah, whole other route. Say, you gotta get another sponsorship to work. One rep Max it. says he wants to see your strong man video soon, so um there you go. That's way down there, so wait it oh. Oh way down he there says it he one. says it again. Yeah, okay. One rep max, damn. Hope to see some strong man videos soon. I, I will. I just the very the, the very first time I was a little nervous to show it. Um, like I said, down the road I intend to, but g give me some time to figure figure it out a little bit before I let myself look like a total idiot. Um, and then I'll, I'll have my regular videos, but like my powerlifting stuff. I just like I said, my body was so beat up. Like it was already beat up from um, training this week. I've uh, been I'm listening. You guys wanting to see some videos of my boxing? I'll give you a live show. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, you're beat up. In you're case anybody wondered where that came from, I don't know if you noticed the hand motion down here, but I think that was a, yeah. a violin playing, which we all know what that means. Smart ass. I'm, I'm, make, I'm just saying yeah, that, you, that's why yeah. I was really broken down and I'm trying to listen to my body and yeah. not say... I didn't go super light, but um, but I backed off just a little bit because um, I like I was really sore um, Thursday, Friday. So going into Saturday doing the strongman, I was like, oh Lord Almighty! And I and I still and I went and trained. I did back that day, um, and so I had that going on. Super super sore Sunday. Super super sore. Did more strongman. Got my ass kicked. Um, went and did squat and lower body. Um, so by Monday I was hurting, but 
I still trained every day of the yeah. week. Um, I just backed off a little, and I didn't think it was worthy of a videoing. I mean, one rep says it's 80, 80 degrees in San Diego. Yes, I'm done. Hey, yeah, that's comfortable weather there. Yeah, we got like desert up here, 100 degrees. It's yes, I'm done. Dry and hot. Done talking to me. Then Ashley's done talking to me, apparently. Rudeness. You guys see the rudeness I deal with? Golly. What's Waffler saying about LA care? <sighs> Paul Laffer. John Ellick has created a bench shirt that will be the next big thing in powerlifting. Bigger benches are coming. Well, I don't know anything about that, Paul. What, well, don't can you we share the secret? Talking in general. Well, I don't know. Or I'm sure. Or is there a specific? That's what these guys do. Yeah, that you're talking I'm curious about. about it. Okay. Yeah. More details on that, Paul. CJ Morgani. CJ Morgani. Hey, everybody. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, happy CJ. Happy Thursday, CJ, and almost happy Friday. Hope you're having a good week, man. Um, Remy, Remy Shirley. Shirley. Not going to lie. I am a alpha straight male. 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 Yeah. Okay. I assume that was a female. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one rep max. Dude, those bars look sexy. I'm excited to see it in the they uh, do, cardboard don't they? tube and to break that thing out. Very. And um, yeah, we're, we're going to, I want to put some weight on it. Yeah. Because those things, it doesn't bend. The PSI strength then, it's really awesome, I heard. Very cool. That's exciting. And it's the purple rule. Do you know when they'll be here? Monday. Did you say Monday? Yeah. Okay. My UPS tracking number says Monday. Probably end of day. And I will help him get it from this truck into the house. Nice. And straight nice. to the gym. Nice. Remy Shirley. Sorry, I sent my chat before my point purple rules. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, I saw those. And it's really it's different. slick looking, isn't it? Yeah. I like that purple. Def definitely sexy, like one rep max said. That's some real cool colors on the the black. I, mean, I never seen a bar with purple on it like that. Oh, well, I'm gonna have, have it. Have you ever had no, seen that? No. I, I like a lime green too. Like a, like say, a I'd like to see color. it. Yeah. I like, I like psychedelic colors. So lime green would be yeah. super like Grateful Dead purple. Cool. Kind of cool. Or like if it was lime green and purple, like on the yeah, more the better. Rolling spots was lime green, and then the purple was. Let's see. Well, you can coat those and do like color whatever you want to do. I think it'd be cool but to have some. I'm wild just happy to have bars. an awesome bar. At our gym, we have the some best green, bar. blue, and red ones, and those are cool. But to like. Get even more creative and more brighter colors. It'd be sick. Well, uh, let's see here. CJ. CJ. I think that bar will go well with Ashley's fancy pants new belt. It will, won't it? Yeah, it's purple. That, uh, purple sparkle. And then, then the... What was the official color? Was it magenta? I can't remember. It had an official color. But yeah, the sparkly hot pink. We'll call it hot pink with that. Yeah. Oh, that would be well, you'll be there Tuesday. No, you won't. You work now. Yeah, I mean, yeah you'll I'll be, be there back Tuesday night. Gymnastics. Well, you'll see it Friday. Friday. I was say, can I use it on Friday or be there and see it on Friday? One rep. I'll see it when it comes in, when you get it here. Right? Um, yeah. It up, I, I I'm going to, well, yeah, I'll open it here. I want to see it. One rep. One rep. Dude, that Colossus looks dope. Does it compress the arms? Looks like it kind of does. And then, oh, I thought, that, I thought know, the next comment was. And that Colossus bench shirt, you know, we there's been a few guys that had it uh, a few years ago, and one was a 220 kid who did like a 915 in it pretty easily. And um, I have the actual shirt, the uh, original Colossus bench shirt. So this new one that, uh, that uh, Alec has looks very, very exciting to wear. It's like the sleeves are kind of front cut. They come straight out the front. Thus, when you uh, push your arms apart. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to break down 500 bucks, something like that. Uh, let's Worth see. It, CJ. Uh, CJ Morgani. Paul just lifted it so fast that it appears to be a skipping video. I think he did, too, because I played that video earlier and it didn't do that, so. It just uh, it moved that quick, and it really did. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, it yeah. moved really great. I was like, impressed. Like just... when I saw, I watched it like four or five times, and I was like, I need one of those shirts. Yeah, it looked great. It looked awesome. Wonder if very, I, I wonder if nice. Alec allows trade ins, like you know, sending back a shirt and get a little price cut. That'd be cool. Sign it for like him. Trade in. 
my signature worth get, a couple bucks. Get a little bucks. bit of money towards the next one. That'd be nice. That'd be cool. Remy, what, uh, Ryan, your 225 rep max. I did 50 reps one time. Remember in the gym? Mm-hmm. And you, I, like, almost threw up. And I, well, no, it was really cool because I did 50, hopped off the bench, and I couldn't get my win. I'm, I'm like, panic breathing, which is normal. And then I remember... Um, it was the weirdest thing. I, I I stepped out. I opened the door. I don't know when it was. It was early spring. Oh, and I was trying to get fresh air, and I and all of a sudden I got this uh, like this blood rush to my brain. My whole brain felt like it just uh, it produced heat, like an immense like flush. I don't know what it was. I've never felt it since, but it was the weirdest thing. I don't know. It was oxygen deprivation, something. But, um, and I posted it online and one person said I didn't lock them out, but everybody else thought it was cool. I mean, yeah, yeah they're not completely straight freaking armed, but they were 97 and a half percent straight. Give me a break, dude. Uh, Remy, your history, Mac. Where's Max? Your history, is... Max? Yep. Remy, you specify for us. Yep, a little more detail there, if you could break it down for us. Timothy O'Dell, how we're you kinda, doing, Mr. O'Dell? Slow. We're kind of slow. We could use a little more help on that one. Rem- oh, your history, Max. I still don't quite... I don't know. Just continue. A little more details. We're Timothy not O'Dell. quite sure on that one. Timothy O'Dell, sub bench monster. Sorry, I haven't been on lately. I've been in the process of moving to Wenatchee, Washington for a new job. Um, wow, you'll be two hours. You're co- close to us now. Two hours and 45 minutes away from us. Yeah. And there is a Osborne training facility there. Oh, Dave yeah. Osborne works Dave, out there. Check, check out. Uh, You've got the gym you want to go to. Uh, OPS. OSP. OPS. Osborne Performance, Performance Center. Performance Systems, right? Yeah. That's Os- where you want to go Osborne train. Osborne Performance. You'll take care of you there. Systems, and OPS. You're going to, one of us are going to hop in the car and come to each other's uh, gym and we're going to train. Definitely. All right. One rep max. Got to make it happen. Got to make that happen. <laughs> one rep max. LOL. Mr. Canelli. She's a strong man, a strong woman now. She's got to eat. That's because of my, <laughs> he's yeah. saying not to give me shit. Oh, yeah. Over here. There are no new terrain and... bars all over my desk. Crumbs. All right. Um, and, oh, Miss Ashley, by the way, would you consider yourself a peekaboo boxer? Or are you still in that basic stage where your own style hasn't come out yet? Um, definitely in the stage where my own style hasn't come out yet. I haven't. Um, I haven't, I haven't gotten to spar yet so far. I've only been working on like, um, the heavy bags and the speed bags, um, and mitts, like w- where we have partners and then we hold the mitts for each other and practice different combinations. I ha- haven't quite got, I intend to, when I get a little more confident, um, and when my coach like feels like, I, like I'm ready, uh, I definitely, definitely want to spar. I'm um, getting the ring and spar a little bit every like Friday nights are gonna see that sparring night. Um, there's I, there hasn't been any girls in there sparring yet though. So when I if I do, there's a good chance that I'll have to spar a guy. So I've got to definitely make sure that I'm a little bit confident. Now nobody goes like balls to the wall like you're not like you're not supposed to. It's you're supposed to go like I can't remember what percentage they said, but you know you're not. We're not trying to kill each other in there. Just kind of getting some practice. So. I haven't really developed or had my own like style come out yet, so still learning, just learning the bit. Ba- I'm very like I'm I'm too tight. Last night he was telling me that I'm I'm too tight. Like I got it. I'm like thinking so hard about every like punch that I throw and making it like correct with my feet work and my position, and so like I tend to be like robotic. So is robotic a style? Does that count? Because that might be. So I was practicing trying to kind of loosen up and right. let them, yeah. yeah. So like I said, I'm just like muscling all of them and try, thinking so hard about them. And so I'm just kind of, I need to learn to relax and loosen up a little bit. But when I start sparring, I will let you guys know. And when I get to the point where I like look decent while I'm doing it, I, then then we'll see some videos, definitely. CJ Morgani. Once I get to start sparring, which I do intend to do for the record, I am going to to be a part of that 
at some point. Where where am I at here? You're up here at CJ Mar uh, Margot. Oh, right we're here. way up yeah. there. We jumped. Yep. Okay. Nick Walker. Nick Walker is just huge. 310 pounds or so and only like 5'6". Oh, wow. 5'6". You sure? You, you sure? sure? He's only 5'6"? That is tall as he I is mean, wide. That could, that could be why he looks so Wow. Big, Maybe that's the illusion of, yeah. Shorter yeah, limb might. lengths and things. And yeah. putting him, oh my God. Is he 5'6"? Okay. Is that true? Well, like before he, sure? he gets like his um, multi-million dollar pro card, I need to see if I can get him on the show. That'd be cool. I have a lot of questions. Yeah. We probably should do that. He knows soon. how to eat this food, he, and he he looks. Yeah, I, I watch some of his things, and he's constantly Constantly. putting food away you got to do it to feed a body like that it's crazy oh yeah for sure oh let's see one map one rep right here one rep one rep dude the dreads definitely add to the caveman vibes love it i know i really like those that's kind of cool the um dreads they were 926 deadlift too yeah the deadlift was super impressive and the the dreads just kind of add that cherry on Mm -hmm. top of badassery um kind of like black nail polish and eyeliner but each their own everybody's got their own little little uh what's the right word trademark or things that make it their own one rep says here something about that session with mr aj roberts oh yeah, that session with Mr. Roberts was intense. Did you did you get to actually like train? Yeah. Well, I know that he does his programming, but like, are you, do you, are you getting to actually like train in person one on one? Because I thought it was like, you know, online and showing him videos and him sending you programs and stuff. No, but are you actually together, getting I think. like regularly? You sure about that? We'll ask him on here. Anyway, read yeah, this. Yeah, one rep. We're just curious. Like, are you getting to train one on one in person? Is that or or is that is that a regular thing? If so, or was this just because it sounds like he, this is the case in this comment? But is that something you're regularly getting to do, or every now and then? Um, so yeah, read. that session with Mister Roberts was intense as fuck. My tries have never been this sore. Ha ha. And I'm so. I'm so sorry, too. I totally forgot to ask Mr. Edwards if he wanted to be on the show. Luke Edwards. LOL. She's, <laughs> LOL. She's brewing up the secret sauce. Yeah, the secret sauce. I get it. Ha <laughs> ha. Hope to see your video soon, Miss yeah. Ashley. You know, well, like I said, I, I do definitely intend um, to show them eventually, but. Like I said, I want to get a little sharper with my skills and not look like a dumbass when I when I when I post or when I um, put them on here. Cause I, I like I said, I got a few videos, but I don't. It's not worthy of being on Bench Monster TV yet. I gotta up my game a little bit. Mm. I want to look like like not look like it's my very first time, or not right. look like I'm brand new. Well, look like I've got got it going on. Um, one rep max. LOL. That would be a good site, Mr. Canelli. So I think he's referring to the fat, the, the, uh, that's not a word I should use. I'm sorry. The bigger lady on TikTok that we were talking about that just dances around. Um, so he says, LOL, that would be a good site, Mr. Canelli. Ha ha. Only fans. Is it only fans or fans only? That was fans only. Soon I assume. Only fans. <laughs> That's one of the stripper uh, sites. But I thought it was called fans only. I don't know. Am I thinking of something else? Some chicks do and they make like six million dollars. You, you guys would know. I wouldn't know it. Which one? But so okay. So only fans. Soon I assume. Just kidding. Ha ha. Hashtag body positive. Yeah. yeah. Like I mean, it's awesome. Like I said, it's awesome that she's you know confident and proud of her, proud of herself and proud of her body. I just don't and and no and people shouldn't be like commenting negative, but people shouldn't be commenting negative about a lot of the things that they comment negative. Like I said, you know, the woman so like why is it okay for, for her to, to be dancing around but like these these women that are that have muscles and are strong. I've seen some really negative comments on some women that hey, are deadlifting. I do a thousand pound two board press and they yeah, me apart. and yours. Like why why is it okay for us to talk, you know, people to talk negative about anybody? Like, why can't we? If you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything at all. 
I mean, there's there's some videos on there, though, like, where the person that's posting is posting something snotty or rude or something like that. Then whatever. Then you can comment. But, like, if they're just, like, showcasing themselves or what they're what they're doing. And one rep says, dude, lots of little Chris is killing it. Yeah. Hell he's yeah, dropped he a is. little bit of weight, but um, his bench is, and his deadlift, I mean, he's been kicking yeah. some ass in, mm -hmm. in uh, all the three lifts. So yeah. he shows up day in and day out. Yeah. And uh, only misses once in a blue moon when he's sick. Hardest like literally, working, like 15, yeah, hardest old, working kid. Yep. Yeah, and he's helpful he's in the gym too. Now, isn't he? I always call him fifteen. But Loads he's weights like, helps he got helps me get stuff out of my truck when I pull up to the gym. I mean, he's a team player. I was asking you a question. Hmm. Uh, I was just asking, is he? No, he's a great guy. Great. I mean, great teammate. Great. You know, he helps everybody out. He cheers everybody on. He's just like I said, he's the hardest working um is he 15 or 16? 16 does he have his license yeah okay i say i keep calling him 15 because that's how old he was like when i when i met him but i think he's 16 now but like i said hard, one of the hardest hardest kids i've i've ever met remy shirley something about larry wheels let's see what he's got to say larry wills is a beast and definitely should go for a bench world record he nearly hit 700 at a young age with a lot of bench stroke. Just thick and limit his range, and 800 is his. Yeah, Larry uh, stays very lean. Um, yeah, God, I like, I, I like to see him like kind of powerlifter bulk up, get a little fat. And um, I know it won't look pretty, but... Um, I say I think part of... I mean, not, not a small part of, I think, why he's so popular is because he's, he's got so that lean. marketable yeah. look. Yeah, or he looks like a bodybuilder with the strength of a powerlifter. One rep max. Those log presses look interesting. Ha ha. No, don't pick your uh your back of your shoulder and bleed. Let me see your fingers. Why are they all fucking bloody? Show them. Show them. Show them. Okay. Show them that hand on the screen. Pick it up on the camera. There's not really. Blood that's blood. There. I don't want blood. You already owe me a new chair. Okay. Yeah, and that's the, gross. Well, in the light and your hands are dirty right. and just. I better rip them. You're gonna get a bloodborne disease and drop. Oh, dead. that look gross. The lights shine. Okay, well, whatever. It's not picking on those log presses. Look now. interesting. Logman Move log on. press. Yeah, we like to do some um, log, log man. Ha -ha. A lot of um, overhead pressing stuff. It's essential to uh, to uh, a big bench shoulder work. So we try to alter it up, and uh, a lot of we like to do a lot of uh, pressing from the uh, uh, start position here, not eccentric, concentric, up and down, but um it's because some people's shoulders can't handle that so we, we make do with what we can do remy Shirley, if you were in a dress that's not the way to sit lol well no <laughs> i wouldn't be bench pressing yeah i thought that was a funny thing I, to say you he, caught that he apparently did too yeah <laughs> i i wouldn't uh exactly one rep max <laughs> hey that 1k that. coming up despite the setup hiccup you're good yeah i'm gonna i gotta re i got a new date with that and i'm gonna um I want to do that for a triple and um, one board, half board. Um, I just got to pick the right shirt. And that night I just grabbed uh, the stretchiest one I had and I haven't worn it in a while. And that was the Viper too. Um, so I, I got, I got so many shirts and I knew it was good for a two and one board at a thousand pounds. Cause I have done that before, but um, I need to anchor my shirts with a belt. And I think Pharrell posted a really cool video back in the day of how to wear a shirt band shirt and um he uh put his belt on and then he just let the the upper body flip off and then when you're ready to go he just put it on again and it was set right here with the neckline where it's supposed to be um anytime that neckline and that band shirt moves up to here the line of the shirt changes of course which comes higher and um so i don't think that's the optimal place to wear it you need to wear it uh, further down and i'm I know, I know everybody knows that, but I'm just rambling. So, uh, what's up next? Those fat bar extensions seem interesting. Ha ha ha. Took my job. When my I triceps got strong, I'm going to try those out. Yeah. Fat bar. Sometimes we put the fat grips on there. Sometimes we use the axle bar and, um, hang some kettlebells from it. If you don't have kettlebells, you can hang plates and, and bands and, uh, it just creates a lot of jitter and wiggle pendulum oscillating chaotic movement. So saith Louis Simmons. Matthew Brooks. Did you read that one? Complimenting your, your this one yeah. by one round. Oh, did I miss that? Yeah. Matthew okay. Brooks. Matthew Brooks. I appreciate all your insight on the press command last Sunday. Yeah, I um, when a question that was, was asked really to good. me, I I tried to I ramble and I go fast, but I knew I had to get as much as I could out in my 
time that I had the mic. So I didn't want to plug the show, but you know, I, I answer questions on here for free. So I didn't want to say that there, but um, I just played by the rules and it turned out good. I thought it went really good. I thought everybody sounded yeah. great and I thought it flowed really nicely. Yeah, and everybody behaved like themselves everybody, too. Everybody behaved themselves. There was really only one that we were. Worried. He was nice. He, I, he made my day. He, he spoke nicely of me. He, yeah, yeah, I thought he, he was great. He did an awesome job, and I thought everybody did a great job. I thought it was really like, it flowed really nice, and everybody like, spoke pretty evenly. Like yeah. no, nobody dominated. Nobody was, you know, everybody was equally, you know, talking and giving great information, and it was. Um, you know, fun and interesting the whole time. Like yeah. I didn't the know time to flew by. Like I could not believe. Like when when I looked up at the clock and saw that it was like you know had been yeah noon to three. I was on the whole couldn't time. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Drew Howard, how you doing, Drew? Good I lifting was tonight. Over here, it was super weird to sit like um i was sitting right outside of the screen and i had the headphones on so that i could hear and it was like super bizarre not to like be able to talk or you know just to be right on the outside like this is different than i'm used to because as you guys probably noticed ryan was sitting right here where we do our show so and i was right out i was over here like this where you couldn't see don't wiggle the table anywho Okay, the which one? Screen won't stay up. The hinge, um, the hinge is worn out now. Drew yeah, Howard. Looks like it's falling over. Shit. What a horrible. I'm really worried about that. Drew Howard. Great show so far. Max effort looked good. Thank you. Getting strong again. Thank you. Your training looks like it's going well too, Ashley. Great work. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You're, you rock. Appreciate you guys having my video on. I need to go all out and try 65 to 70 reps 65 yeah. to 70 reps oh yeah, the wow important up, part up is, it, is uh is it oh, you got to breathe as you're going through you don't it, i know Damn, it's like easy to say but ugh. you got to keep that oxygen flowing that's so yeah that's so many reps that's crazy um, matthew brooks matthew brooks just curious have you had any experience in the Mendy shirt thus far? Uh, I've never worn a Mendy shirt that fit. You tried one, right? Yeah, don't pick your shoulder fit. on show, please. Quit it. And don't touch anything with that fucking bloody hand. That's not that bloody. Don't touch any don't touch anything. Or just leave. I have not worn the Yeah, don't how, don't get How dare you? Don't get any blood on anything it's all here. Dry. Look just it. quit. Just leave me be. Golly. Mindy's shirt that I had, he sent me. I couldn't get it up my forearms. And um, that's, uh, and I called him up and he said, well, just bring it back when we drove down to his meet. And he'd send me another one. And he never sent me another one. So, be honest with you, I think it's a good shirt, but it, I don't think it's what I'm looking for. And I bet to see anybody put up anything substantial to, you know, all the big benches are set with the frail shirts right now. So, um, I know Mendelssohn's got a new design or something. Maybe he's come. Oh, wow. I said he's coming out with, we'll so we'll come. have to remain to be seen. But yeah, um, I would like to try it, but I don't know. I don't want to bother him. Yeah, I don't think you mind. Do you? I don't know. I like a. Re I just like a three ply. I don't need one of those that has like sixteen plies in it. Yeah. I, I mean, more the more material is not necessarily better. It just inhibits your ability to touch. You gotta have a happy medium of a uh, certain width of the sleeves and the right amount of material in the chest panel, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. And I, I just don't think, you know, making it super, super is advantageous. So, uh, let's see. Big Farron. Farron. Big Farron. Farron, yep. Farron, Farron. Yep. yep. Say Big Farron. Hey, Ryan, I just got a Warlord from John. I'll have a video for you next week. Awesome. Nice. Look forward to putting that on the show. We want to promote awesome. that shirt and Can't. see what uh, what people can do in it. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see your video. Uh... Remy, surely you missed my chat on USC 276. Uh, what did I miss? What do you mean? What is it? What do you mean miss? chat? I don't know. Like, is there like a... 
Did we chat? Or are we supposed to chat? I, I don't chat know. On the... you missed we watched the show, though. A little more good. detail. What, what, what exactly do you mean by the chat? I remember, because was, was he the one that... Were you making the bets the a couple couple yeah, weeks ago? Maybe. So is your, are you referring I don't remember. to that maybe, or did we miss a comment about the UFC was awesome. No. Uh, Paul Oppler Ryan, I think I you read. I was trying to keep stealing my job. Paul Lawfer Ryan, I think once you get the new Colossus shirt, you will hit twelve hundred. You might be right, Paul. I think I think with that material. Um, there's a lot that can be done with that. Um, I'm looking forward to, eventually I'll get off my ass and get one. So let's just leave it at that. Bobby M. Is that Bobby Miller? I don't know. Bobby Miller, is that you? Bobby M. That 405 for 20 reps was insane. Are you still doing high rep training or just staying in the one to five rep range on bench? Uh, if you're asking me about high rep training, no, don't do any high reps right now. Right now, the name of the game is shirt and, um, uh, but the one to five rep range. Yeah. We do three rep max. We do five rep max. We do max effort, which is the singles, but, um, without the shirt, I'm not really doing any, uh, um, high rep anything just yet, but there'll come a time when we'll go through a phase where we start to do something like that. Um, but we'll do it on each, uh, we'll do it on the decline for one workout, super high reps. We'll do it on the incline, super high reps. It's, um, and we'll burn out on them. So it's a different phase of the training, but it's just not in the mix at the moment. Okay. One rep max robotic style. One rep max Stick robotic already. style. Interesting. Yeah. Go. Mm -hmm. so. You started it. I love doing the robot. Okay. Robotic style. Interesting because I was the same way when I started Muay Thai, which is one thing I noticed with power lifters. LOL. We tend to think tight for power output, but we need to be loose as fuck. Ha ha ha. Yeah, exactly. That was part of it. He's like, you're trying to like muscle it and you know, you're just too tight. And, and just like you said, we just need to like loosen up. But it's really hard because I think like when I think power and hard, I think tight. And so and then like when I started to try to be loose, then I was like felt like I was like a wet yeah. no noodle. And so you it's, get it's a work in, in progress. You know, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. But yeah, robotic style. <laughs> Maybe that's the power. That's a good point that that could totally have to do with the years of power lifting and, and being so tight for that. CJ Morgani, Google says 5'7", but I feel like in all bodybuilders give themselves an extra inch in the uh, height department. And he's referring to Nick Walker. Mm -hmm. Probably. 5'6", is... Uh, I agree. I, that guy has to walk sideways through doors when you're that height and that width, man. I Must be a sight to be seen in real life. Like per, I know. Oh, uh, just ominous. Because I mean, like, like, you got to think... He, he's just about like, my height. Yeah, it's, it'd be like, fuck. If he's 5'6", 5'7", yeah. I'm one or the other. I'm not sure which one, 5'6", or 5'7". Um, so he's my height, but 310 pounds. Like, he's okay. probably more than that, too. And and possibly more. That was just what that comment One rep max. No, no, oh, we train together. Wednesday oh. at 10 a.m., Grinder Gym, San Diego, California. Where, yep. Where one rep train that? Oh, that's with AJ awesome. Roberts. Ooh, that's really cool. And as far as Luke Edwards, I saw him do a floor press. Uh, I saw the video. So that was, you had two of the greatest uh, powerlifters in history. That's sick. And that is some, that is some sight that's to see when you get to train with people like that. Very special. Like, that's really cool that you're Lucky that you, uh, and... one rep, you're in an awesome place. That's really cool. Congrats for, for having that awesome opportunity. That sounds like a blast. Big Farron, I tried that's the Colossus amazing. on Monday and I pushed out. And bought the Warlord. Okay, you know, hey, you know, if it's not for you, there's another one out there. I mean, keep fishing around. You're going to find the right one that suits your needs, and you're going to capitalize on it. One rep, Max. Won't look pretty, LOL. Larry is a handsome fellow. I'm sure it will. Not referencing where that's coming from. I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Alex Estrada. Hey, Ryan, do you remember Hank Hill? He was a big venture in the mid-90s. 
I think he's, he's on the cover of a powerlifting video magazine. I I, the name was brought up, and I never ever looked him up. I don't know who that is. Powerlifter video magazine. Hank Hill. I got a box of powerlifter video magazines right over here. Probably thirty-five tapes that was sent to me, and I need to put them in my VHS and then convert them over and air them on my channel. Hank Hill, I'm sure he's on there somewhere. Uh, do you know what he benched and what he benched in? Denim, uh, whatever. Karen Klein shirt back then. I don't know. Oh, right. What's up, y'all? No messes. What's that mean, Tiny? Well, I assume he might have came in at the point where you were bitching, Probably. bitching him to me about I like a clean... either the crumbs or the getting blood on stuff. Yeah, both. I just don't. I yeah. can't. I can't. I, 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 can't. I, I keep things clean. I'm, but I'm assuming that was what he was referencing. Hey, Tiny. Thanks for making it. It's awesome to see you. Good to see you in the chat. Very nice video. That uh, 1200 bench press was badass. Very well done, sir. Good to, good to see you. video ya. 11. I'm sure I have that VHS tape, if, it, if that's what we're talking about. I'm sure over in that box over there, I have that. Uh, it's probably labeled that, and I have that. Can you scratch my back? Right no. Here? Tiny Meeker, I remember when we met Ronnie at Fit, and yes, Nick Walker looks like a cartoon figure. That's true. Yeah, Ronnie um, Coleman. I remember we were, I was probably 20 yards away, and Paul Roch said, that's Ronnie Coleman. And I, and Ronnie Coleman, I envisioned to be this guy that was just like so, you know, when you read about him back then, he was just so this, that. And I remember I walked over to him, and I was like, I was kind of let down. I expected him to be bigger. But um, still a big guy, but uh this nick walker cat just seems like a something out of a yeah like a cartoon but yeah mm -hmm. it's crazy what he's done to himself the amount of muscle mass he's caked on is just just Unreal. and to maintain that and feed that i just can't imagine i mean what a day of eating looks like you know probably five pounds of meat a day i know certain powerlifters say they eat that but that's not true but the, this these guys i mean off season just to, just oh what his grocery bill would look like well i can only imagine <laughs> unreal um let's see here um the guy the guy what's he talking about are you going to be at next month's comp palooza in richland he's talking oh, about the, the august one. meet yeah i might swing by and visit hang out yeah we might make make an appearance make an appearance we're not competing or anything which i wouldn't mind i mean well i've i've done so many meets this year i mean i've done four or five that's a us pa meet not one of my favorites but i show up to true. hang out tiny that's meeker true. says i remember hank hill being a big squatter i'm sure that name will come back to me once i see a picture i can match a face and a name that i can be like oh yeah but so much time has passed go bit jane Shobit Jane, good good to have you here. Good to see ya. What's up, Bench Monster family? Listening to the show while training dynamic effort lower. I Congrats like it. You. Hope everyone had a great week. Great week so far. Thank you. Our week was our week was okay. Um, hope you had an amazing week. Hope everything's going good for you. That's hardcore that you're training, but still not missing the show, not missing training or the show. Good. Getting Two them together. I love it. Love it. Hope that hope lower effort, lower yeah. effort, lower body dynamic effort is going. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say, but I hope your workout is going very well yeah. tonight and continues to go well and finishes strong um pj morgani i remember hank hill selling propane and propane accessories a lot of talk about hank hill i might i don't know if, if i google that i'll find a, a picture of hank hill powerlifter maybe i'll try it when we get off the show yeah let's do it or uh, remy shirley i committed i comment i think it's to say i commented tonight on ufc 270 it uh, must have got, got lost, lost which is weird because we put it but it didn't get bumped to that one setting again which i can't see why that would have gotten um remember that how that setting was um you had it set on here to filter out yeah certain comments. i changed that but that you you change it and that 
Yeah, so it looks it looks like it. I don't got know what happened there, but uh, you want to scroll up scene and see if on we his can flight did Pedro quick? fake the eye gouge? I saw that and I say yes. Yeah, sorry, sorry, we I missed it. I watched that. I think he faked it a tad. You think so? Needed some time to rest. Yeah, people do it. I mean, it, it was close. I mean, it, it was maybe I, I've seen worse. One rep max. Sorry about that, CJ. I promise Since we didn't you skip it. it brought just, up the uh, UFC. That's a name I'm not gonna be able to pronounce. Did you hear Bakwa Muay Thai Goat signed a contract with some bare knuckle fed which intrigued Dave LaDuke, the Lithuanian goat, to come out of retirement and challenge him? I don't know anything about that, but anything is possible in this world. When you come out of retirement, um, you don't want to come out of retirement and lose. I hope he's got a plan, an attack, and a victory in hand. Which one are we on? Talking about Leduc here when we're at max. One rep. Leduc has had his eye on Buk. How do you say that? I don't know. Buka for a while, but oh, that's it's spelled differently on that one. Bula so kept I like backing. I like when I read them. And this doesn't flow. <laughs> wait, wait, so it's spelled differently, and I'm not sure which one's right and how to pronounce either. Um, kept backing out, asking for more and more money. Context. Lef. So another way of... Sp- no, no. Lef- we we, lef- we, no, we, we, we will decipher one rep's comment here. Lethwi is bare knuckle Muay Thai with headbutts. No points. Only knockouts to win. Yeah, it's bare knuckle, yeah. And they're usually very short uh, round uh, contest. You're, yeah, it's over within a second. Tiny Meeker, uh, really? um, no pulling video. I have that next week. I was more intrigued with the 1201 bench, but you will get your deadlift. Day, oh, did day he? Court. Was he deadlifting? Yeah, I got another one. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to I kind of skipped over that because I, I watched your 1200 too many times in a row. I'm checking out that shirt you're wearing. I need to get a shirt like that. I'm assuming it's the poly cut that uh, that allows you to bench tucked a little bit. I kind of like that. It's more angled in that direction. One rep max. What's he got? Oh, okay. On, okay. On and the won't look pretty reference. You said you want to see him get power lifter fat to see how much further he yeah. gets. And I said he won't look pretty, hence my comment. Okay, oh. I got you. So you're referring to Larry Wheels yeah. if he were to um, get a lot bigger and thicker. That's what I was saying. Oh, he's yeah. not going to be quite as marketable. I mean, he's so strong where he's at now, and he's got that marketable but he could, he, he, bodybuilder he could be stronger. look. And he could, but I'm just saying. I agree with one rep. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be pretty. Hey. He'd lose that. You know. Sometimes you got to cross over and do things you don't want to do, but... But if you can be like that strong, like stronger than most heavyweights at a freaking lean bodybuilder physique kind of, you know, weight. Matthew Brooks has a real interesting question that I want to answer correctly. So read it, please. Okay. Sorry. Matthew. No. Matthew Brooks. Yeah, Matthew Brooks. In the dark side shirts that you've used. Have you noticed being able to tuck in those more than the F8 shirts? I know you I know you use both, but was curious if there was an advantage to each in your mind. Yes, the dark side shirts that I have, um that Viper 2 material um is very stretchy and um it allows me to uh, bench how I want to bench. I, I'm not restricted by any means. I do have a uh, dark side uh, Colossus uh, shirt, and it's uh, a, a little bit more aggressive. Haven't done much in it as of yet, but I'm going to bring it to the gym. The F8 shirts that I have uh, were the early ones back in, when was COVID? 20. 2020. March I was, 20. Yeah, a lot of them I got in, in 2020 when we were benching in a garage gym. 100 degrees and a lot of those ones were made and that was the and they're made for the elbows out and um uh do they work with elbows tucked yeah but it's just really weird to describe um it's 
yes and no. The, I mean, it, you try to make them uh, conform to your style of benching, but sometimes when they're not made to bench that way, they don't work uh, very well. So, but a lot of my uh, dark side shirts that I have are real stretchy. Like that green one we saw tonight, I can pretty much do what I want with it because the material has so much flex in it and it's uh, very forgiving. But some of these F8 shirts now that Kolb talks about when I talk to him, you know, they have a poly cut that allows you to bench like you would in a poly. So I'm assuming the sleeve design is somewhat tilted to allow you to get the maximum um, stretch out of that shirt in that style of benching. I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, let's see where I'm at. Uh, so they're talking to each other. Uh, I'll go down to... Timothy O'Dell at the bottom. Timothy O'Dell. Thanks for mentioning Osborne's gym, Ryan. I'll have to hit him up about his gym, definitely. So glad there's a powerlifting gym in Wenatchee. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a great gym. Awesome we've, gym. We've been there many times for power. Like, um, uh, Larry Bush used to be the UPA, chair, the UPA chairman, and um, he lived here at one point and put him on here, but he for a, a period of time he moved to Wenatchee and... Uh, would would put meats on down there and it was a great gym and dave is like an awesome guy like super intelligent so, too. so smart so funny so fun to be around um he's he's a power an incredible power lifting coach with an amazing resume um as far as you know lifters that he's coached things that he's done himself he's he's currently a power lifter um who trains his ass off always has videos on instagram if you're not following him already i um highly suggest that you um just you going to that gym and up. training with him you're going to learn so much i mean your bench and in your squat and your daily whatever you're doing your numbers are going to jump overnight yeah no that's it definitely like what needs to be like your first stop like one of the first things that that you do is is get yourself uh connected with him and uh, signed up with him great powerlifting gym can't can't say enough positive things about the guy seriously what's tiny talking about here it's a loose single ply i don't think so what single ply f8 that's what you have what but what's he what's he talking about what? i have a loose single ply but well loose... i think he's talking about his shirt that he's wearing oh really it's a loose single ply f8 i've seen single ply and they are like paper thin he's also <laughs> laughing though. i know it just looks thick because I have a clavicle. It just looks thick because I have it. It looks like a good fitting shirt, though, and looks like it's primed to, to do like twelve to 1,300 very easily. So Single fly? Yeah. Is, it, is it really? No. Is he joking? What do you think the laughing faces mean? Well, he also says cause it looks thick because I have a thick, because I have a He's clavicle. joking, man. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate you, sir. You're welcome, Matthew. And uh, if there's anything else I can do to help, just let me know. He said again, it's the club. Oh, yeah, it's sorry, a problem. Sorry, the problem is yeah. with no. me, Matthew, is I got We're so many shirts. I got so many Vipers. I got so many F8s. I even got a couple uh, Womack shirts. Which ones are those called again? What's, what's that? The Womack uh, Bench uh, Daddy. I got a four ply bench, bench Daddy out in my car. Maybe I should break that thing out. Last time I had that on, um, I couldn't get down 1,035. It just stayed at the top. And I, 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 I like, took it out, and I just let go of it, and the shirt held it. So I – and uh, Womack said I could do anything on that, but I couldn't even get, get any weight down. Maybe I should try it again. I don't know. Tiny is being a funny man. It's the clavicle. I am so serious. I Seven will get I will get your uh, your deadlift video next week, and if you have any other bench press stuff, tiny, send it over. Yep, always looking videos. for content to put on here. Yeah, yeah. No, but if, if you send some, especially you... as fast as you move the weight, it's kind of a uh, it's fun to watch. Hell yeah! Excited to see it next week. One day I will be there too. Hopefully this. I year. know I've been trying to get you deadlift for years. No dude. bench at twelve hundred. Oh yeah. I'm, I get oh, that weight back in my hands. It's going to be a chore for my guys to hand off, but they need to start stepping it that up too. and learning how to get that kind of weight out to me. Tiny's got a good three man crew where they just, every time. And Kolb has a good three handoff crew. I got a good three handoff crew, but they've only worked up to a thousand. So it's been a while since they handed off 11. So maybe I should have them deadlift more. I don't know. 
All right, Tiny's going big on Sunday. And like I said, Kolb's competing Saturday, I believe, or Sunday. I don't know which day, but we're That's rooting for him. Right. We'll see what he's going to do. I picked his brain on the uh, on the, on the the uh, webinar on Sunday, and uh, he said he's going to open with 1235, I think. Somewhere in there, and go from there. And Whoa. Jamie will go. And your eyes are shut, so it's bedtime for you. No. No, I'm just... And let's do it again next Thursday. Me. If is you that, guys will join us again. One? Well, I was try I went I was going back cuz there were a couple um one rep had uh, corrected one of his like that one that we were trying to read. Okay, you figure it out. Let um, me know what you got. One rep max typo my bad. It's buaqua okay. and pronounced buaka, buaka, buaka and lith lithway is lith lithway. Okay. And then there was a couple that might have been the main one that I wanted to go back that I saw. Okay. That might be a good one. Really. Figure it out. Yeah. and there... People are leaving by the dozen. Sorry. Right All right. right. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. You're just looking back to the, they were talking between each other. I was trying to figure other. out there were some that it looked like we Let's missed. not try to pronounce those names. We're just chopping them up or murdering them. It's not good. So, all right. Well, hey, you guys uh, want to send me any, for... any of your uh, lifting training videos? Please send them to benchmonstergmail.com and I'll put them on the show. You Steve. know where I live and you know how we do it. And we do it yeah. every Thursday. Make sure you send those videos. Come hell we, or high water. We, we are love here. Watching, you know, we love watching you guys um, and the things that you're doing in the gym. Um, and, you know, anything that you do that you're proud of, show it off. We want to be able to celebrate it together and and see what, what you're doing, how your training's yeah, going. Same goes and... for you. They want to see your stuff, too. So keep that I in mind. I post every single... Your boxing and strongman training. So if you're going to do that, you need to post it. They're asking for it. Is it that complicated? Think about I, it. I, like one rep said, he, one rep understood that I'm... I'm 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 getting I'm cooking I'm cooking up something special before okay. I before I show it and one of these days let, let me get it a little more let me get some more confidence especially in the strong man all right hey we'll um, be back next week a and couple we'll, uh, more came in here we'll do this again they're they're not quite they're just kind of saying bye here C J Morgani thanks for the stream y'all hope everyone has a good weekend you too C J thank you so much for tuning in um one rep okay guys have a great night enjoy your dinner see y'all next week look forward to it thank you for joining in always great to have you one rep always love love seeing your name here in the chat box to timothy odell have a good night you too tim thank you so much for tuning in always awesome to have you in the chat box also you guys have great Great comments, great questions, great things to add to the show, and we de we always appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Anything else you want to? Nothing for me. Looks like we're. Looks like have a great weekend. Live strong, be smart, and comments. come back uh, all in one piece next Thursday. Let's do this again. Have a great Friday. Have an amazing, safe weekend. Uh, have a wonderful start to your week next week, and we look forward to seeing you guys next Thursday. Good night, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.